Hello, I'm Mrs. Chapman, and let's go ahead and solve an equation involving matrices. Uh, let's start right off the bat with number one. We first have to remove the matrices. By doing this, we rewrite the equations. I have a 4, and it's equal to 6 minus 2x. Notice it's in the corresponding positions. I have 4 equals 6 minus 2x, and my second equation is 3x equals 31 plus 4y. I'm going to take my first equation. Uh, before I do, I want to mention to you that we are solving systems of equations here. All we did was remove the brackets for the matrices, and we made sure the corresponding positions were equal to each other. And since they are equal to each other, uh, we're going to go ahead and use substitution. So I want to solve for x, and I want to solve for y. Uh, right off the bat, notice in my first equation that 4 equals 6 minus 2x. I only have one variable. So I'm going to go ahead and solve for x. I need to subtract 6 on both sides. That gives me a negative 2 equals, that forms 0, minus 2x. Now I'm going to divide by negative 2. That equals a positive 1. Equals, that also equals 1. As we know, we don't have to write it. So now we know our x equals 1. Put it as an ordered pair. Now I can go and plug in my 1 in for x and solve for y. Now I'm going to do it into my second equation. I have 3. Wherever I see an x, I'm going to substitute a 1. Equals 3 times 1 equals 31 plus 4y. And now I'm going to solve for y. 3 equals 31 plus 4y. I'm going to subtract the 31. There we go. This forms a 0, so I don't have to write it. And the difference between 31 and 3 is 28. My negatives on the higher number equals 4y. Divide by 4 to isolate my y. And 28 divided by 4 is 7. And I have a negative. So my y is negative 7. There's my x-coordinate and my y-coordinate. Let's go ahead and do number 2. Notice this one looks a little bit difficult, so I get out my highlighter. And I need to make sure. I'm going to have four equations here. Notice I have three variables, my x, my y, and my z. So when I solve, I'm going to have x y, and z. Going back to my highlighter, I'm going to write my equations. They are in the same row, same column, so that means they're in the same position. And that would be 4x minus 3 equals 9 is my first equation. 
my second equation is 3y equals negative 15. My next equation is 7 equals 7. And my last equation is 13 equals 2z plus 1. Okay, which one would be the easiest to solve for first? I'm looking for an x, a y, and a z. Well, why don't I go ahead and solve this one? It only has one variable in it. One step equation, divide by three on both sides, y equals a negative five. Now I can take that negative five and not plug it in anywhere. <laughs> Has no place to plug it in. Okay, um, well, let's go ahead and solve another equation. I know seven equals seven. Oh, wait a second, seven already equals seven. I don't have to do anything with that. I like that one. Okay, let's go ahead and solve for x. I'm going to add three. Bring down my 4x. That equals 0. And 9 plus 3 is 12. Divide both sides by 4. And x equals 3. And last but not least, let's solve for z. I'm going to subtract 1. 13 minus 1 is 12. Bring down my 2z. That equals 0. I need to isolate my z, so I'm going to divide by 2. And z equals 6. There you go. That's my answer. A 3, negative 5, and 6. And I would write it as 3, negative 5, 6, using parentheses. That is an ordered pair. It just has three variables, so it's on a different plane. It's not on a flat plane. Uh, but that does represent your x, y, z right in a row. Let's go ahead and do another one. I'm going to get out my highlighter. And once again, corresponding positions. Same row, same column in both matrices. I have two rows, one, two, and I only have one column. 2x plus y equals 5 is my first one. And my second equation will be x minus 3 equals 13. And I'm going to take a look at the equation first. I didn't do it. I need to look and see how many variables I have. I have two variables, an x and a y. Always make sure you know what you're looking for. Okay, I'm going to take the equation with only one variable. It's easier to solve. Plus, you can't isolate only one variable when you have two variables in the equation. So I'm going to isolate the x by adding 3 to both sides. Bring down my x. That equals 0. And x equals 16. Now that I know what x equals, I can plug it in over here. 2 times my x is 16 plus y equals 5. When I substitute the 16, 
that only leaves me with one variable to isolate. And 2 times 16 is 32 plus y equals 5. And now I can subtract. Pen's not working there. There we go. 32 on both sides. That equals 0. Bring down my y. And the difference between 32 and 5 is a negative 27. So my answer is 16 and negative 27. Okay, let's get out the highlighter. My first equation is 4x equals 11 plus 3y. And my second equation will be y minus 1 equals x. Notice I have two variables in both equations unlike the other ones. I only have two variables. That would be x and y I need to solve for. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and solve the easiest one, the one with the less numbers. If I solve for x here, I would have that 11 plus 3y divided by 4. That would be pretty ugly. So let's go ahead and solve for y here by adding 1 to both sides, giving me y. That would equal 0, equals x plus 1. I'm going to go ahead and substitute that in for y into this equation. That would look prettier. So I have 4x equals 11 plus 3, and my y equals x plus 1. And now I can go ahead and solve for x, because now by doing that I have only one variable in this equation. So I have 4x equals 11 plus, I'm going to do the distributed property. 3 times x is 3x, plus 3 times 1 is 3. Now I need to combine like terms. Uh, 4x equals, I'm going to go ahead and combine my 11 and 3, which will give me a 14 plus 3x. Now I'm going to move the 3x over this side, which I do that by subtracting 3x. 4 minus 3 is 1, equals 14, and that gives me a 0. So I have x equals 14. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it back into this problem here. My original problem, y minus 1 equals x, I have y minus 1 equals x. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite it, and I know my x equals 14, because I just solved that. And so I'm going to add 1 to both sides to isolate my y. And y, this equals 0 equals 14 plus 1 is 15. So my ordered pair, or the solution to my set, is 14 and 15. Let's go ahead and do another one. 